Minister, dear Simona, distinguished guests, dear friends. I'm delighted that you have decided to focus your presidency conference on digital education. There could be no timelier topic. President von der Leyen, in her State of the Union speech, explicitly said that digital education and skills need leaders' attention and to structure dialogue at the top level. In response to this, exactly one month ago today, together with eight of my fellow commissioners, we announced the kickoff of a structured dialogue with member states on digital education and skills. The European Pillar of Social Rights Action Plan sets the frame for an increased focus on lifelong learning and training in Europe. We want at least 60% of all adults in the European Union to be participating in training every year. And in addition, we have also set ambitious targets for what we call our digital decade. We want at least 80% of all adults to master basic digital skills. We want 20 million ICT specialists. Currently, we only have 8 million. And we need to make sure that many more women are taking up a job as digital technology experts. We will only achieve these targets if we work as one in the EU at all levels. The structured dialogue will be an opportunity to bring together different branches of government, private sector, social partners, civil society, precisely to give digital education and skills the horizontal perspective they merit. Our digital decades targets are complementary to our parallel work on education. The Digital Education Action Plan kicked off this year and will last for the next seven years. In this action plan, we presented an ambitious and comprehensive vision for digital education in Europe, focusing on high quality, inclusion and accessibility for all. The implementation of this action plan is now in full swing. On the one hand, we are developing a, a high-performing digital education ecosystem, and on the other, we are boosting digital skills and competencies for the digital transformation. Just to give you one concrete example, in July, we launched work with experts to develop ethical guidelines on the use of artificial intelligence and data in education. We are aiming to promote understanding on emerging technologies in education so that educators feel confident and supported when using them. Digitalization is already present in many aspects of our teaching, learning and everyday life. It brings enormous potential, for example, to enhance learning opportunities for disadvantaged groups, such as persons with disabilities and others, who do not benefit fully from educational opportunities available currently. Now, our joint task will be to ensure that we are equipped and ready to seize those opportunities, as well as to manage the risks involved. And let me be very clear, to ensure the success of digital education on the ground, we need to mobilize all of society. This is not a task for Brussels only. We need to reset our traditional way of thinking in sectors and engage with each other – teachers, parents, learners, industry, researchers and innovators. This is exactly what you will be doing for the next two days. I wish you and the Slovenian Presidency many fruitful exchanges and every possible success.